Hey guys, welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So, uh, behind the scenes, I've been working on this uh, Autometric Electrical, and uh, we're actually getting really close to uh, cutting metal on this thing. So, what I wanted to do is just kind of show you um, the VFD, uh, what I put on, and uh, the next steps here, uh, and we're going to cut some metal pretty soon. So, uh, I got this running, and I'll demo that. And uh, then I got a little bit of work holding stuff to do here. And then we can uh, actually make some kind of crazy prismatic part uh, that uh, uses all the capabilities of this really unique machine. So um, let me pull you in a little closer. We'll look at the box real quick. And then uh, we'll fire it up. And I'll show you some of the uh, axes of motion that this thing has. And you guys can get a, get a sense of what this thing can do. So uh, let's do that. Okay, so here's the electrical box, and I mounted it on standoffs over the, uh, uh, there's a, an, a drive motor underneath here too for the feed. Uh, so I've spaced it off so air can still get in there, but then I mounted this, uh, this Hoffman enclosure. And um, I think I showed this before, but I'll, I'll tell you again, this is a 3D printed bezel here that I made um, so that I can access the, uh, the VFD. Um, and then the, uh, the motor, the sub-spindle here, I've got a, a disconnect so that I can dismount the, uh, so that I can dismount it and take it off of the machine and put the, uh, the lathe tool post on. Okay, so let's plug this back in. All right, and I'll turn the, uh, oop, I'll turn the VFD on, and you can see it's coming up here, and it's kind of ready to go. So it's just flashing, it's ready, um, and I have it set uh, at about 38 uh, hertz right now, uh, which, according to my calculations, uh, should be around uh, 1400 RPM, something like that, on the, uh, on the motor up here. So uh, let me, I'm going to pull you up and, um, so you can see this a little better on top, and then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up. Okay, so here's the sub-spindle here, and I got a, uh, I got a chuck mounted up. This is an R8 spindle here, and then here's the motor that turns it. We're going to be building a sheet metal guard for this pretty soon. I don't want to get my little, uh, my little hooves in there and get nicked off. Um, this also is on a rotary table, so it has the ability to turn at different angles here. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at around zero, which is 90 degrees um, to the, to the, or excuse me, it's uh, parallel with the axis. Okay, uh, this can move back and forth here. And then we also have a axis of movement here on this slide. So when I turn it like this, I can drill at an angle. Okay, so let's actually run the motor here. Okay. And I can vary the speed here. Drop it down on the VFD. That's about 20 hertz right there, which should be about 750 RPM. Let's turn that off for a sec. Um, I have the ability to jog this at uh, 5 hertz here, so I could use that for indicating or something like that. And I can also uh, uh, change directions too. My little V belt's a little creaky right now. Kind of getting used to getting used to life. <laughs> so uh, this is getting pretty exciting here. So next up on this, uh, we're going to build a sheet metal guard. We're um, I'm going to buy a chuck for the faceplate here, and I'll, I'll spin you around here in just a second. I'm pointing at it right now, but we'll take a look at it and um, and then get that mounted up, and then we're going to actually cut apart and uh, see how this baby performs. Okay, so you start to get the idea here because I can come up like so and I can move this back and forth and I can also change my uh, angle of attack here Ugh. like so and then I can drill actually let's, uh, let's give it a little juice
thing I can do. Let me uh, let me engage that. Let's pop this off. I got a hand wheel here, so that this thing behaves like a rotary table too. And I've got uh, angular markings up here, so I can do angular indexing, and then drill at an angle or drill a pattern, whatever I want. So it's getting getting exciting. All right, so I know you guys want to see the inside of this here, especially since Stan and Randy and Ray are all concerned about my wiring uh, capabilities. So let's open this up. Anyway, that's what the guts of this thing looks like. The mains come in the bottom here. We're fused. Um, we got a disconnect. And then we feed the uh, the VFD, and the VFD output goes to this this plug that goes up to the motor. So there she blows. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.